Okay, good afternoon. I'm Lieutenant Ray Spencer. I'm the homicide lieutenant with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. First off, I want to thank everyone for being out here this afternoon because we as a police department, we need the community's help to solve this case. So on March 22nd at approximately 3.30 in the morning, Kashif Brown arrived at the Circle K directly behind me and was in the process of filling up his car with gas. When Kashif arrived at the parking uh, at the Circle K, he started the, his car or started filling up his car with gas. He went inside to make some small purchases. And then when he walked outside, a car pulled up alongside of him. That car is approximately around 2015 gray Chrysler 300. The driver of that car is an unidentified black male who exited the car in what we think was an attempted robbery. At that point, the suspect approached Kashif and fired multiple rounds, striking and killing him at the gas pumps directly behind me. He then got into the vehicle and fled from the scene. What we have learned is that the vehicle was driven again by an unidentified black male, and we know there was a black female passenger inside the car. This afternoon, immediately after this press conference, we are going to release surveillance video that captures the vehicle, and it also captures the shooting. I urge everyone to please watch the video and reach out to us because you could have the answer that would give this family behind me closure and hold the person responsible for this horrific crime and hold them accountable. Please watch the video that's going to be provided. Any information that you have, regardless of how small, you can reach out to Crime Stoppers. There is reward money available. You can also reach out to Homicide at LVMPD.com. I'm going to let the Kashif's mother speak for a few minutes, and then I'll step back to the podium and answer any questions. Hi, I'm Kashif Brown's mom. That was my oldest son. He was a sibling of seven, uh, or yeah, he was a sibling of seven children. Um, he has he has a family, three beautiful girls and a wife. And um, I just need help trying to solve his case because he didn't deserve what he got. He was a good he was a good guy. He was a good soul, good spirit. And he made you laugh. And um, I just, you know, his girls would never get to grow up with their dad. He was always there with his family. He wasn't in the streets or nothing. He would go to work, go back home, be with his family. And I'm just, please, if you have any information, just please give it to the detectives, please. I love my son very much, and it's still unbelievable that he's gone. I, it's hard to believe still. I'm trying to wrap my head around it. And I have to go pick up my son's ashes today. And um, this is so I don't know. She's 100% right. He did not deserve this. He, I investigate a lot of crime in this valley. And let me tell you, he was going to a gas station at 3 o'clock in the morning on his way to work when someone shot and killed him in a robbery. Please, I urge anybody, watch the video. Look for anything that you see that could help us identify and bring closure to this family. 
With that, I will give a couple, um, take a couple questions. And again, I stress there is reward money available through Crime Stoppers, and your information is completely anonymous when you go through Crime Stoppers. So with that, again, I'll take a couple questions. Caitlin. Like this was a random robbery attempt. Can you talk about how hard it is to solve those types of crimes? It's ex it is very difficult right now. So you're going to see from the video surveillance that the, the car had actually pulled into the parking lot, we believe, for about 10 minutes prior to approaching Kashif when he parked his car. We think that, that the suspect was either casing uh, the store for a robbery or casing anybody else pulling up to the pumps. So we do have video surveillance of the car. We just can't make out the license plate on the vehicle and there's no link to him. And that's to, to go to your point is there's, you know, as an investigator, you typically on a homicide investigation look for a link. Here it's a complete random incident. So there is no link. And that is why we urge the public to reach out to us and help us solve this case. So from witness information, we again, we know the driver was a black male. We know that the female was a black female passenger. They were both sit, sitting on the side of the business for about 10 minutes before the robbery and murder or attempt robbery and murder took place. So that is all the information that we have. So, you know, I know for a fact that there's somebody out in the community that has the information that will bring closure to this family. So I'm not going to get into the specific aspect of forensic evidence that was found at the scene. There, we have forensic evidence that we are examining, and we're going to, you know, look at every piece of forensic evidence that would help solve this case. But again, the reason I have you guys out here today is we need help, and your viewers could hold the piece of the puzzle that can solve this crime. How unusual is a crime like this? Completely random like this, not even like a store, but just passing by. What? Well, Again, it's extremely random in the sense that you have a robbery that has turned into a murder, and with no link, it does provide some difficulties for us as investigators. All right. And they weren't able to successfully take anything from the right? Correct. There was nothing taken from him. So that's why we're saying it, we believe it was an attempt robbery just by the suspect's actions uh, prior to the incident and what led up to it. So. Thank you, guys. The family will be available after the conference uh, if you have any other questions from this. Again, thank you very much.